Good morning children. Today I am going to take English for 8th standard. The new lesson that is modern missionary. So this modern missionary has been written by whom? By uh, Joseph Rodia Kiplings. So he is the person from British India and also he was born in Bombay. He used to write the small stories that is short stories in which language is English. And Kipling received the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1907. So he received a Nobel Prize in 1907. 1907 he received. And he was known for his works for fiction, the Jungle Book. Means what work he has done that means what is the book he has written is the Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. This is the very important and good book what he has written that is Jungle Book. Now let us go for the summary of this poem. So he was an English poet that is short writer and novelist. Novelist means where a short writer, that is, he used to write a small, small stories, chiefly remembered for his tales and poems of British soldiers in India. So, he used to write a poet myth and poems of, for his tales and poems, many poems he has been written, in which one? Uh, regarding soldiers in India and his tales for children and also some short stories for the children also, where they will be happy to read the books. Kipling received the 1907 Nobel Prize for Literature. He received a Nobel Prize in which year? In 1907 for his literature work. He was born in Bombay in the Bombay Presidency of British India and was taken by his family to England when he was 5 years old. So after his birth, that is after he was born, then he was in India and then he has been taken by his family to which place? To England and when he was a 5 years old, when he was 5 years old. In this poem, Modern Missionary, he allows the missions in, uh, to narrate their creation, functioning, powers and limitations in 5 well organized stanza. So, he has explained about the missions in 5 stanzas. That is the rhyme scheme for all the stanza in the poem. And also he has given the poem in a rhyming words also. So rhyming words is also there. The machines first to describe the process of the creation. First stanza what he has given means what is the process of the creation means how the uh, machines has been created. It begins with the appropriate minerals, ores and other raw materials being transported from the mine to the manufacturing unit. Means, here what he says, the mine has been transferred, means raw materials is needed. No? So, for that, he goes first to the mines. So, the mines, raw materials has been transported from the mines to the manufacturing unit. Manufacturing unit means to the manufacturing place, to the industries. But the mines will go from the, how they extract the mines? They extract the mines from the earth. From there, the raw materials will go to the unit, that is manufacturing unit means to the place where they start manufacturing, that is industries. And then, here the raw materials are mixed in proper proportions in different furnaces as mostly high temperatures to extract the metal. And then, after that, when it is brought to the uh, industries, they bring it to the furnaces. Furnaces means how we have utensils for our making uh, cooking works and all like that. There we call it as a furnaces. So they bring it that raw materials to the furnace and also they give it, they extract it to the high temperature. I mean the temperature will be, will be given to a high proportion and then from that temperature they make these mines to a metals. Means this mines will be converted to a metals. And then this is cast and formed into various shapes according to the design drawn up by the engineers. After this only, what they will do? They will take up a designs. According to the designs and shapes, this metals will be converted. Yes, did you understood till here? How the first stanza, this is one. And then shapes according to the designs drawn up. But how the shapes 
has been drawn is this shape so everything will be drawn by the engineers depending on the plan the metal parts are cut for machine mill etc to the correct uh, uh, dimensions means according to the shapes they will cut it and then they will machine mill so all this work will be done according to the shapes means as we take the example when you do a paper cutting works now you are the what you do first you take the paper and then draw it now after drawing it's a simple design means if you want to draw a flower also see how you are going to draw the flower like this now so like this will draw the flower first after that what you do you will cut according to this flower size here so like that here also the shapes will be drawn by the who by the the shapes will be drawn by the uh, engineers so the shapes will be drawn by the engineers after that according to that the cutting and other works will be done and then depending on the plan the metal parts are cut after that these parts are then assembled making sure they all fit well to construct the machine after that each parts are separated separately they will uh, draw it they will cut it they will gather it means every parts are separately manufactured so after that they will join all the parts to a concerned machine means how the machines has to be done means they will first take me make a small small part and then join the parts and then they all fit well everything will be fixed up and also they will be fitted equally and correctly so then to construct the machine so then the machines will be constructed now the mission state that all that they need to function are the fuels and coolant such as coal uh, coal oil and water now the mission has to be started so when mission has to be started means what we will do so you know generally missions will be started by fuels if you give if you put fuels it will start then coal then oil then water so like this it has to be started then in executing the task given by the humans the machines seek only a modest tolerance in the manufacturing specification means we the human beings only uh, start the machines yes no after giving all these kinds of fuels then water everything we will start it and then with that granted the machines can operate 24 hours a day after that only once when we start manufacturing from the machine any uh, manufacturing concerns then what will happen we just run run the machine for 24 hours a day is me 24 hours continuously 24 hours the machine will run so that we want to get the finished product clipping list to the various functions that the machines can perform in one category the machines can pull haul push lift so everything machines can be done is not the machines can pull out the machines can haul it can push it can fill so like that many things it can be done drive as in forklifts and crane clipping okay, list some various functions of the machines So what are the various functions here? It is pushing, pulling, lifting, driving. So like that, many functions are there. Now, for example, another category: these machines can be useful for such diverse tasks as printing, plowing. Even some machines only not only for these. In other purposes also, it is used like plowing and then printing and weaving. So weaving machines are there, printing machines are there, and heating machines. That is, heating is what stuff like this. and lighting that is power generation lighting in the sense what we do lighting means power generation first we generate the power and then it is being transferred for the houses where we get the lighting so like that machines find use in activities related to sports to run race swim fly drive even it is related to the sports also the poets last category includes the machines utility in vision hearing counting even machines we use no for hearing counting So for these categories also, Kipling has been found that it is used. Machines are used as well as educational and intellectual activities related to reading and writing, publishing being one instance. Even uh, even though it is in the publishing activities also, it is writing, publishing. In all this related activities also, it is required. And with all that.
stated missions remind the humans that they are strictly governed by the laws of physics in their functioning. Means like how we have functioning in the sense humans function is different compared to the machines, no? So like that here. They do not experience human feelings. So machine does not have the human feelings, you know? That is natural, you all know very well about it, that it doesn't have any pain. So when we do some work, we have pain, tired. So this type and also pityness we show. All these human natures are there with humans, but not in the machines. And machines operate in the realm of strict objectivity. The humans are thus forewarned that any mishandling of the machines will have it cons consequences. So once when the machines are started and if it is correctly operated, it is given their work. When once if you mishandle the machine, then you will get the consequences. The machines could produce a sort of smoke screen which can temporarily conceal the fact that it is the human beings that are the true gods. So, it is the human beings of the true god. Means once when it is produced, means when it is a producing a smoke like screen. But the machines are aware that they are not, uh, they are nothing more than the children of the human brain. So, it is nothing more than the human brain, that is children's human brain. And then, they are only as good as the humans controlling them. Means they will be very good, the machines will be very good until we control it to a good capacity, means how we are handling it. Once when we mishandle, then you cannot see the good working of the machines. The machines have to power without man's acquaintances. Means once when it is operating without human being, means without our knowledge, means according to the switches or how it operates. So like that, once when they have the power without man, means the machines should have the power by operating themselves with the switches but not with the humans. So this is about the machine, that is modern machinery. I hope you understood this lesson children. So see you by the next class.